Hey guys, in this video series, we are on number four of five video, the next one being treatment options. This video is about NAD Plus and the additional benefits of it. We talked about anti-aging, we talked about energy, and those are the main reasons people are using NAD Plus, but it's got extra benefits even if you don't think you need it. This will still help you, and some people are more interested in these benefits than some of the others. My name is Dr. Philip Oob. I'm a functional medicine doctor here in Austin, Texas, and uh, my practice is called Oob Medical, where we offer NAD Plus as treatment options. So, Let's dig in. The first benefit of NAD Plus that I want to talk about is DNA repair. And so what you may not know is there's all kinds of DNA damage sources around you, whether you know it or not. Just aging, being on this planet and being alive causes DNA damage. Inflammation speeds up DNA damage. Uh, toxic burden increases it. So alcohol consumption, chemical exposure, heavy metals like lead, mercury, arsenic, biological toxins like living growing organisms inside you can, can speed up DNA damage. Low nutrients, not having enough magnesium, zinc, whatever nutrient your body needs to repair DNA and, and keep DNA going uh, can cause DNA damage. And then of course, uh, poor sleep can cause DNA damage. Such an easy thing to do, it's free, uh, but sometimes we don't focus on it enough. What are some symptoms of DNA damage? You may not realize it, but if you've ever had a sunburn, that's technically DNA damage. The sunlight, the UV rays from the sun have damaged the DNA in your skin and uh, skin cells, and the DNA is damaged enough that the cells are dying and then your immune system is showing up trying to clean up the debris. Anytime the immune system shows up to clean up the debris, that usually means inflammation and pain. That's why it's red and painful. Just like if you cut yourself, it's red and painful. Cancer is a DNA damage symptom. Fatigue, brain fog, muscle aches, joint pains, rash, autoimmunity, literally anything can be associated with DNA damage. You know this already. DNA is the building blocks of all humanity, all organisms basically. And so if without DNA, then you can't make those things and so you're gonna suffer consequences. So why am I talking about this? The reason I'm talking about it is that in this DNA repair diagram, we have, here's a DNA sequence at the top, and we're not gonna get too burdened down, but this is the DNA sequence, and there's a little lump in it saying that, oh, that, that DNA piece has been damaged, and it's wrong, so we're gonna repair it. But it's not just a magical process that happens. There's kind of a two-step process. This little Goomba comes up and basically cuts out a section of DNA and says, hey, this part's broken, we're gonna fix it. It's no different than when a road is damaged, and there's a significant section that's damaged. What they might do, instead of just filling it with pothole filter, because that's not available in this option. What they will do is they'll cut out a section of road and say, we'll just fix it from here to here and make it much smoother than just filling it with potholes. So what this enzyme does is it takes out a few um, base pairs on either side of it in order to make it available for repair. And then this enzyme comes in. And this enzyme is called a PARP. Um, I can go over what it stands for, but it doesn't matter. This PARP is gonna come in and replace those missing DNA pieces that were just cut out and repair it. That repair process, as you can imagine, we're talking about NAD, NAD plus, that repair process uses NAD plus in order to fix those and it turns it into uh, NAM. Most of the time we talk about NAD plus flipping back and forth from NAD plus to NADH. That's in an energy cellular place or maybe a detox place. And this one is DNA repair. So it actually takes NAD plus back to its like original creation um, building blocks. So it's gotta be regenerated after that. So with too much DNA damage, you start burning up NAD plus and it's not going to NADH and being able to easily be recycled. It's going back to building blocks and has to be regenerated. So this PARP is basically burning the NAD plus. So what happens when you can't repair and you end up in NAD depletion? Basically, you break, you, you draw a line by, by this section where this enzyme comes across and, and pops out the DNA base pairs, but then you can't ever repair it. So what happens when DNA is broken for too long? The cell dies, cell death. The next thing you can do is they can just go to sleep and say, hey, I'm missing some DNA. I can't really repair it. Let's just go to sleep and, and hope I don't need it in the future. It can also create cancer. When you have missing links like this, sometimes the DNA attaches to itself and makes a new mutation and causes problems. It leads to Alzheimer's, autoimmunity, inflammation, literally anything and everything. Uh, so we know NAD plus is used in DNA repair. DNA damage causes cancer and other things. 
This is a very complicated diagram, but it's gonna say the same thing uh, in a roundabout way. So we, we don't need to get bogged down in it, but let's just focus on, here's the, the PARPs, that, that enzyme that was regenerating the, the, the DNA after it was damaged and, and in the repair process. And if you notice, NAD plus is being burned and turned into NAM. And this process is kicking the NAM back to this NAMPT section, and that's supposed to generate NAD plus. But as NAN, NAM drops, NMN drops, and NMN turns into NAD+, so NAD+, is dropping. As NAD+, drops, the cell ages, the cell sleeps, the cell dies, the cell turns cancerous, just as we talked about. So the same diagram being burning NAD+, and DNA repair leads to the same things. Hopefully you're getting the message of why NAD+, is important in our uh, overall life and, and aging. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you'll, you would have learned that NAD plus stimulates anti-aging, makes you younger by stimulating hormones, specifically sirtuin type hormones. Those sirtuin hormones literally trigger anti-aging hormones. But on the same token, NAD plus actually focuses on DNA repair, which also helps with in, uh, anti-aging. These are two totally separate mechanisms, but have the same benefit as far as anti-aging. I always love how Google can pull up these images of this aging person, uh, the same person, that's wicked looking. Uh, so the other, and the, this is the second to last benefit, additional benefit of NAD Plus is, NAD Plus is useful in the immunity. I don't like to go in extreme detail. The immunity is boosted by sirtuins and all kinds of things, but the, the basics of it is there's not really a whole lot to talk about besides just NAD Plus that stimulates your immune system. It's one of the reasons your immune system declines as we age because we lose NAD Plus and we become NAD depleted as we age. So NAD Plus is both used to generate the immune cells and it's also used to create a chemical reaction that the NAD Plus uses to kind of punch the, the bad guy's lights out. We call it the oxidative burst. Okay, last but not least, this is actually pretty fascinating and it's not really fully understood yet as far as I know. I did the best I could researching the latest and greatest and this is the bullet points I came up with. But NAD Plus is being used to treat addiction. Now, if you have a loved one or know someone who, who has an addiction, you'll know that it's extremely hard to break. Anything you can use to help these people break their addiction and heal it is a wonderful thing. And they're using NAD Plus to break these addictions. Now, once again, it, it's a vitamin, so it may not work for everyone, but it is having profound effects, specifically in the alcohol and opiate population, the narcotic population. So some of the theories behind why NAD Plus works for addiction, because we, we know it's working, we can see it working, but why? So these are some of the theories behind it. Well, the first one being it increases mitochondrial energy in the brain. Uh, mitochondrial energy is just how your brain makes energy. Every cell has a mitochondria that makes energy. So if you increase NAD Plus, you make more energy, and if the brain feels better, it's less likely to be addicted. Theory number one, or, or potential number one. CERT1, that's a sirtuin that we talked about in one of my previous videos where we talked about sirtuins doing all kinds of beneficial things in the brain. And sirtuins regulate behavior response. And you now know that NAD plus stimulates sirtuins. So if sirtuins are up, it's regulating your behavior response so you're less likely to be addicted. Next is it regulates MAO. I don't know how to explain this without getting too complicated, but needless to say, MAO is an enzyme in your brain helping create neurotransmitters. And so when that's overactive or underactive, it can create addiction issues. So NAD plus helps regulate that and restore that. Uh, next is increased adenosine, which counteracts dopamine. Uh, dopamine. Uh, adenosine is, is a, a neurotransmitter that, or a chemical that, that exists in balance to dopamine. So they're saying NAD+, which has adenosine, um, can benefit the dopamine balance. Once again, these are the theories working. Uh, it improves circadian rhythm, which leads to reduced cravings. All that means is you get better sleep. If you improve your circadian rhythm, meaning you're awake when you're awake and you're asleep when you're asleep, that sounds complicated, but if you're sleepy while you're awake, that's a disruption of your circadian rhythm. So if when you're awake, you're awake, and when you're asleep, you're actually asleep, then you have less cravings. That just makes sense. We're no different. Um, if you ever have a bad night's sleep and you're really tired, you're naturally gonna crave carbs and sugar. That's somewhat of an addiction, and your brain is craving energy, and it's regulating cravings. Last but not least is NAD plus increases oxytocin release. Oxytocin is, in a, horm is a hormone in the brain. It's heavily released. Uh, after a woman gives birth and, and, and develops this attachment to their baby, but oxytocin is released uh, always. It's kind of a, a warm hug is the, the way the hormone is described. So needless to say, if you feel like you're always getting a warm hug, maybe you don't reach for the alcohol and narcotics, and that's maybe why NAD Plus is helping with addiction. 
That concludes the entity benefits uh, or additional benefits and in the previous videos of purpose and creation. Now we're going to get into my favorite topic, which is treatment options for NAD+. And so stay tuned to my next video where we discuss that, probably the one you've been eagerly awaiting for. And um, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe to it and leave a comment for me. I'll see you in the next video.